Emotional candlelight vigil held tonight at the scene of a tragic high speed crash that killed three members of one family. Tonight, a one year old toddler still fighting for life in the hospital. Eyewitness News reporter Sophie Flay talked to neighbors tonight who heard the crash and ran to help. She has the story from South Los Angeles. A candlelight vigil has now been set up on the corner where that devastating car crash happened on New Year's Eve, killing a mother, father and a five year old daughter. We spoke to neighbors who rushed over after hearing the crash. As soon as I saw the little kids, you know, in bad conditions with blood all over, all over them, it was, I couldn't hold it and I just like started crying. My dad immediately came to the scene and uh, along with the other neighbors, they started to try and break the, the, the glass, um, the windows because they noticed that there were people trapped and kids. Candles, flowers and photos. A mourning community remembering 49 year old Jose Manuel Pascagasa, 26 year old Luisa Arenas, and five-year-old Mia Pascagasa, leaving one-year-old Hannah Sophia Cortez Burnell as the only survivor. She's been in the PICU unit over at Harbor UCLA, um, and I believe over the night, kind of a miracle happened because uh, the last two days, we were she wasn't expected to survive her injuries and a lot of the, uh, the blunt force trauma she sustained, and she was seated in a rear-facing car seat. Um, she's showing recovery. Surveillance video captures a white Tahoe driving at high speeds by the 22-year-old suspect after fleeing from a hit and run, according to police. He blew through a stop sign on Normandy and 60th, crashing into the silver sedan with the family of four inside. Residents nearby say the crash sounded like an explosion. The silver sedan crashing into a street sign, knocking over a fence. The car quickly engulfed in smoke. Good Samaritans rushed to get the family out of the car while waiting for first responders to arrive. The neighbors have been talking about trying to get a light up in this corner because it's known for accidents. That corner, this corner, like accidents happen very often. The suspect, Isaac Jordan Kahari, is still in the hospital with non life threatening injuries. Facing three counts there of murder, uh, we're looking at, um, and it would be attempt on the surviving baby. That if Hannah pulls through this. The family moved here from Columbia one year ago. Detectives are now working to find family members related to baby Hannah, who turns two years old in nine days. A lot of people just come to this country to have a better life and them just losing their lives like that. Being, being here for one year only losing their lives is it's really sad seeing that. And detectives are still waiting for the toxicology report, but they do believe the suspect might have been under the influence that night. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.